Sports, it's in the game. Welcome to this match between England and Canada at Twickenham. The teams are making their way onto the pitch and the crowd's giving them a warm welcome. There's no wind here today, so a perfect day for goalkeeping. The pitch is in excellent condition for this one. Let's have a look at the lineups for each team. Here's the team for England. Woodman, Thompson and Vickery in the front row. Johnson and Kay. Moody and Hill in the back row. Delario at number eight. Dawson at scrum half. Wilkinson at fly half. Cohen and Robinson. Tindall and Greenwood in the centre. And Lucy back there at fullback. And here's the team for Canada. Snow, Dunkley and Teal in the front row. James and Ukes. Ball and Sharon in the back row. Banks at number eight. Williams at scrum half, Barker at fly half, Asalam and fourth, 
Cannon and Fitkowski in the centre. And Stanley back there at fullback. Let's focus on the players that will be key to the result of this one. So, Gordon, Greenwood is the key player for England. Correct. John, the opposition's just got to be worried about facing a player of this calibre. He's an extremely creative player and manages to work scoring opportunities really out of nothing. And for Canada, you've chosen one of the flankers. That's right, John. This player is definitely one to watch out there today. This guy does his best work on the floor where the boots and fists are flying, and he's got a real knack of affecting turnovers at crucial moments. So we're set to go. It's England against Canada. on there by Canada. England have the advantage. Well, that wasn't so clever. Nicely picked up. They have it again. You can hear that tackle from here. Big hit. Great drive by Canada. Into touch it goes. England have a little extra height in the lineout. England are likely to try to get this ball wide quickly should they win the line-out. Thompson with the first throw of the match. Dawson goes for the up and under. Yes, nice take. He had to bounce that kick into touch and he managed it. Have a look at that, the field position. An excellent punt right down the field. Thompson is the man throwing in for England. Thompson makes the throw. Nicely picked up. England tidy up and set it up. Dawson gets out of one tackle. Comes back. Offside, but the referee is playing advantage to England. Wilkinson is going for goal. It isn't easy from out wide and about 25 metres. This would be an ideal time to score. Looks good. Three points to England. Canada with the restart. Barker chips it towards his forwards. Out it comes. And it will be a scrum down. Knock on there and a scrum to Canada. I think he must have taken his eye off it at the last moment. The hooker needs to be strong at the scrummage and is normally the scrum organiser on match day. A good hooker also needs the power and technique to gain a physical edge for his side and also an ability to assist the referee in his decision-making when required. Ball receiving some treatment to his right knee. It's there on the side of Canada. A big drive by Canada. 
Long ball to Barker. Ball secured once more. Williams, Snow, hit really hard. Offside, but the referee is playing advantage to Canada. So Marco has decided to have a pop at goal. Has a great chance with just over 30 minutes gone to level things up. This would be a good time to score for Canada. That looks good. Canada get their first points of the match. England to get us underway again. He's gone to the reverse side. Finds touch. will be looking to time his jump right. Thompson makes the throw. Delalio with the pickup. Big hit. Canada scrum. The ball has gone forward and it will be a scrum to Canada. That was a bit sloppy. Knocked forward. it comes Canada building up offside but the referee is playing advantage to Canada offside but the referee is playing advantage to Canada Ouch. huge hit the ball was out offside but the referee is playing advantage to Canada Penalty against England. An outside chance of three points if they decide to go for goal. Not much in it, but offside nonetheless. They were just a little bit too quick there out of the block. Into touch it goes. His forwards will be very pleased with him there. A good touch to find. A shorter line out being called by Canada. makes the throw James with a big leap big hit Dawson comes up with the ball gets away so strong presented again quickly the scores are tied at 3-3 they're on their own <laughs> we felt that up here presented The tackle is firm, though. A knock-on there by England. Canada have the advantage. Offside, but the referee is playing advantage to Canada. But again, the defensive line holds. Cannon! They're certainly under pressure here, but are still tackling superbly. Wow! Stopped in his tracks with a big hit. Banks. That's over he goes. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Well, really, they just kept knocking on the door until it opened. Great pressure and a well-deserved try. Great rugby from Canada. 8-3, and the conversion still to come. There's been a knock to a player. England are being forced to make a change. Wilkinson has been replaced. Barker with the conversion. This should be a simple conversion. Here's the kick at goal.
That looks good. Two points to Canada. So, the restart. He's put that a little too far. A knock on there by Canada. England have the advantage. Kick ahead. And it will be a scrum down. And again, a knock on. This is getting very scrappy from both sides. Scrum under a bit of pressure here. Canada have won this one against the head. Side, but the referee is playing advantage to Canada. Barker is going to kick for touch. Barker punts into touch. Yes, a good kick. That gives his forwards something to work with now. Banks is at the back of the line for Canada. Canada are likely to try to get this ball wide quickly should they win the line out. Dunkley, the man throwing in, dreadful throw. And it will be a scrum down. Canada have won this one against the head. Barker. Into touch. Thompson with the throw. Delalio grabs it. They have it again. Oh, picked up. They might struggle to get this one back. Yes, they've lost. And that's going to be a scrum. The referee has spotted a knock-on. The scrum just short of halfway. Canada have won it. Good long pass there. Still there, though. Offside, but the referee is playing advantage to Canada. Fauth free on the left. That's the end of the advantage. Play on. That'll leave him a little stunned. Gets away so strong. The ball's available. Oh, picked up. Ball retention, good again. Barker is running this one. Great accuracy there, as he had to be spot on. Thompson makes the throw, taken by England. Just bounces off. The referee is going to bring it back. Knock on there and a scrum to Canada. He had his eye on the approaching player rather than the ball, and that's why he knocked it off. A scrum in the opposition 22. Surely a chance here. Swept down. Drop kick here. And he's got it. He took full advantage of the opportunity. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Three points. Ten points. Clear. England with the restart. And away we go. Kay 
dumped him in a copybook tackle. Keeps it in the forwards. Straight through the middle. Woodman with a bone-crunching tackle. Offside, but the referee is playing advantage to England. Burst through a cup penalty. An outside chance of three points if they decide to go for goal. Yes, you could see the back line were up just too quickly there. So Dawson has decided to have a pop at goal. Dawson has the chance to bring his team back into the game. England will hope he has his kicking boots on today. Not a knock-on, says the referee. That looks good. England are now back to within one... Com Canada to get us underway again. Kick-off made. It's there. made the tackle that's half time Canada we're on top in that half the players head off to the changing rooms with the score at 13-6 the players are ready for the second half with the score standing at Canada 13 England 6 Barker kicks to the other side Greenwood takes it from the kickoff Referee is allowing play to carry on. They are taking an age to get it out here. Will it bang? Big hit. That would have hurt. Offside, but the referee is playing advantage to Canada. That's the end of the advantage. Play on. Asala Thompson with a massive hit. It's taking forever to come out. Curry, fourth, can't get him. It will be a scrum to Canada. Curry knocked it on as he went into the tackle. That's pretty embarrassing, really, because it's brought the whole move to a halt. Long ball to Barker. Tries a drop kick. Over goes another drop goal. Yes, a superb kick. He'd have enjoyed that. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Three points. Canada with our ten points. Advantage. So, the restart. England pounce. Asala gets away. Loose ball is there. This is taking a long time to free up. We're into the final 45 minutes. Side, but the referee is playing advantage to Canada. Barker will be kicking for touch. When you've got forwards who are just dominating the game, that's when a good fly half becomes especially effective in taking control of territory because he's got all the options. He can actually do the running or he can punish them with the kicks. Dunkley will be throwing in for Canada. Dunkley, the man throwing in. James tips that back. Oh, backwards. Ball with a bone crunching tackle. Comes back. 
Dawson kicks on. Asalan picks it up beautifully. Asalan, you see, getting across to haul him down. No support, and the ball lost. A knock on there by England. Canada had the advantage. The referee has given a free kick. Canada have decided to run this one. A very bold move. Williams straight through. Hit hard yet again. There'll be sore bodies tomorrow. Beats the tackle. Long ball to Tindall, puts through the grubber kick. Williams pulled down. Still with Canada. Teal, oh, who felt that up here. Fifteen minutes gone in the second half. Big, big hit along the ten-metre line. Oh, and a turnover. The ball's available. Once again, the defence was secure. Runs into a big, solid defence. Cohen, not backwards. He should have held on to it and taken the tackle. Nailed in the tackle. Canada have the put in at this scrum. Knock on there and a scrum to Canada. He had his eye on the approaching player rather than the ball and that's why he knocked it on. Cohen, I think it is, that's down. England are being forced to make a change. Cohen is the player being replaced. Russell goes for a free kick, not a penalty, so they can't go for goal. Then they've elected to have a scrum instead. Excellent drive by Canada. Penalty. It's pretty straight, but just over 45 metres. Barker attempting this penalty. It looks good. Three points to Canada. England to restart. Leonard makes the kick. Well tackled that time. Into touch it goes. James will be a major player in this lineout. Canada are likely to try to get this ball wide quickly should they win the lineout. Nicely taken. England are 13 points. Have a look at that for field position. An excellent punt right down the field. K will be the man to watch for England. Thompson, the man throwing in. Healy. 
snow, the quickest to react. Big drive from Canada. Cannon looking to link up. Boom! Absolutely nailed him. We're into the final 50. Offside, but the referee is playing advantage to Canada. Still with. Offside, but the referee is playing advantage to Canada. So, Barker is having a look at the goalposts here. Barker has the chance to make the score 22-6. Last look at the posts. Collects himself. It looks good. Three points to Canada. England to get things going again with the score at 22 6. Side, but the referee is playing advantage to Canada. The referee is waving play on. Boom! Absolutely nailed. And a penalty to Canada. It is kickable, but it will be tough. Not much in it, but offside nonetheless. They were just a little bit too quick there out of the block. Into touch. He found touch really well there. A little under pressure from the back row, but he still managed to get it away. No, standing at the front of the line-out. Dunkley makes the throw. Yeats wins that for Canada. It's a turnover. A foot in touch. Dawson kicks ahead. Canada are going for a reduced line here. Dunkley, the man throwing in, Yukes. wins that for Canada. Awesome hit, really hard. A knock on there by England. Canada have the advantage. A scrum in the opposition, 22. Surely a chance here. Scrum under a bit of pressure here. Free kick to Canada. to have a scrum instead. They're 15 metres short of the line. Williams is penalised. Free kick. Canada have decided to run this one. A very bold move. Now here's a chance. Terrific defence. Great tackling. These guys are punishing defenders. Terrific defence. They say they've worked on their defence by just tweaking a few things, but tonight they have really put the pressure on. It will be a scrum to England. The scrum is inside the 22. Canada have driven them right off their own ball. Scrum under a bit of pressure here. Barker goes for the drop goal. Over it goes again. That's a magnificent drop kick. A cheeky drop goal, and that's three points. Thank you very much. England have got to find something from somewhere now. So, the restart. Fourth snaps it up. England ball. 
Ball lost. Looks for the kick through. They're on their own 22. Ball retention good again. Offside, but the referee is playing advantage to Canada. Penalty. What a pity for England. Yes, you can see the back line. They're up just too quickly there. Williams! You can hear that tackle from here. Big hit. The score is now 25-6. The tackle is firm, though. Offside, but the referee is playing advantage to England. Healy, away on the left. Penalty against Canada. Not much in it, but offside nonetheless. They were just a little bit too quick there out of the block. And England have elected to kick for goal. They really should have elected to run it, being so far behind. They need this one. That looks good. Hits the post! That's it. The referee blows his whistle. Canada has won. What an enjoyable match that was. The final result is Canada, 25 England, 6.